How am I supposed to get Your back sides are the yeah. wrong area. I know. Make sure you don't screw into me bum. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, we have a hole. Moment of truth, here we go. Let me get these wires in. Same fault. Oh, you're joking. Oh my God. Right, that's breakfast done. Um, I'm gonna nip back up to screw fix and get another packet of those um, brackets that we got yesterday while Lee Chad is the last gets in the shower. And then we're gonna come back, I'm gonna get in the shower, and then we're gonna start. This is what we're gonna start. We're not building, well, no, we're we're not not. building that. We're gonna do the uh, work top. We're gonna get it bolted down and hopefully drill the holes. Right, Nick's back from screw fix. We've just both been in the shower, got ready, got our scruffs on, I'm dressed for winter. And it's gonna commence again. Nick's dressed for summer. And um, we are going to start. So we're gonna put the work top on. Bolt that down. Despite what we said in the last vlog, that we're not ready for it. I've looked at it and the bend isn't that much. You can push it down with two fingers, so four brackets will definitely pull it back into shape. Fingers crossed, hopefully. We shouldn't have to do this. But then we're cutting the sink out. Then we're cutting the hob out. Ooh. Then we're cutting the tap out. Ooh. We can even plumb the sink in today. Ooh, we're in water. All right, let's get in the van. Come on. Right, just like old times, in it before Florida. <sighs> Need to uh, try and tidy a little bit as well. Yeah. Well, I need you to go and get all the power tools from in the lodge, and I know for a fact that a lot of them won't be charged. Mm. The batteries are a little depleted. Good planning, that. Go on, then. Right, so when we tried to start a van again this morning, it struggled a little bit. So um, we bought this thing off Amazon, which is a pulse repair charger. So it basically rejuvenates a dead battery and brings it back to life again. So I've disconnected the leads and rigged it up, and it's on pulse mode. Um, it says that it's at 40% battery, so it's going to spend all day repairing this. So we'll see how well this works. First job is when we when we cut these, it was a bit iggledy piggledy with the jigsaw, and there's a little noggin there that just needs shaving off to make sure the worktop sits flat. So that's first job. Right, that's that's off. I might take a little bit too much off, but it's going to sit on this backrest. Well, we need to get all. Oh, oh no, that's in a drawer. That's isn't in it? a drawer. The so drawers have got to come out. Yeah. The oven's got to come out for me to get in to fasten the brackets. Ugh. So the plan will be. We will put four of these like that on the edges and only fasten it into that one so the worktop can move that way and then leave a couple of mil at the back so it can move freely and expand that way. Okay. So, so plop it on now. I, it's still got a bend in it if you see on if you look on yeah, the end. Awesome. Right, hold on. You can see the bend from here. No. Right, so we need some spacers to put uh, down the back to push it forward. Gotta find everything now. <laughs> Where we haven't had anything out since before Florida. Uh, right, I'll go find them. Right, next job is to take the oven out, unfortunately. It's been in and out this bloody oven more than than um yeah, go on, Santa think. Claus has been in <laughs> in a chimney. <laughs> 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 Wrong bit. Where's my bit set? Oh, there. Before we even there, start. There, there, there. Right, I need you to climb up and put your butt right there to push this bend down, and then I'm going to screw up into your backside. Right, I'll take my shoes off. Come on, then. I've got to uh, watch me back getting up here. Why don't you lay on it? <laughs> You're going to be no good getting in bed, and you can't even get up <laughs> bloody work top. How am I supposed to get Your back sides are wrong area. I know. But well, lay it. Oh my god. Shall I lift you up? No. Can I put my foot on? Yeah. There we go. I'm up. <laughs> yeah, but you need to be here. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to get down there? I'll give you some ideas. Let me get down. What the frig are you away. doing? Move out of the way. Well, now I know I'm, I were in the wrong place. Well, I did say clearly that I needed, and I pointed it on camera. Wait a minute. Make sure you don't screw into my bum. <laughs> <laughs> the screws aren't long enough, I only got 16 mil. Right, you need to shuffle your ass into the corner. I need it as much weight on there to push the worktop down. Well, what about if I do this? How's that weight there when you've got all your weight? 
Because I got my feet on it like that. Well, hang on a minute. Are you insane? Doing. I know what I'm doing. There. There. Right, wait a minute. Let me have a look. Oh, it's actually gone down. I guess you are a fat heifer. Right, stay there. Right. I'm off the bench. Um, worktop and it is on. I'm sure that just went up, whatever you did then. Up? Yeah. More straight. Huh? I thought it just it looked like it was moving straight to me then. No. So it's obviously no. there, it doesn't fit into the corner properly, but there's going to be a, um, a th what do you call it, trim going all the way around the back and down there. Um, so Nick's just putting the screws into these brackets. Oh. What? Battery's gone on this chuffer. <sighs> Uh, one behind you. Yeah. Need to get that on charge because we're going to run out of... I was just saying to Nick, Nick is very against using the van if we finish it and it's winter still. But it's sort of mid-October now or something, whatever day it is. Let me look. It's pissing freezing. It's the 23rd of October and if we were out and about in this van... We'd on, be freezing his asses off, that's what It's we'd be absolutely doing. beautiful. The sun's out, we'd have kettle on, we'd be all cosy inside, we're going for hikes and walks and I just can't wait to get off in it even if it's like cold weather I think it'll be even almost even nicer because you get all that cosy snug feeling. Have uh, you finished? And uh, maybe we'll get a little Christmas tree for in here as well. We won't be ready by then. I need your ass again. Oh, I've got to get my cup. Yep. It's looking a Success. little flatter now. Success. Now that we've bolted it down. Unfortunately. We've put four bolts in each. Yeah. But it also had a, a bowing at the end here, so we put a little spacer underneath. So we'll have to do that consistently all the way along to, to make it flat. But it don't look bowed now, and it's flat enough to cut the hob out. Was it supposed to be a bit further up to end? That way? Yeah. No, because it needs breathing room, don't forget. Oh, okay. So. so the next job, unfortunately, is taking the fridge out. Oh, I need to dust that top. I know. I know. Right, let's mm. just budget that a little bit. Yeah. Get on work top there. Oh, you want me to get on and get in? You're gonna have to go all the way along. Oh, okay. Right. The work top's on. Now for the interesting parts. <laughs> Cutting some holes in it. Right, wait a minute. And getting so, them correct. Before we do that, we need to put a simulated backsplash in. So this is the sink. So really, the depth there don't really matter. For for aesthetic purposes, it's the closeness to the edge of the work top, really, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, what it needs to be. Mm, wait a minute. Mm, it can't go any further forward than that because from the edge of the worktop to here is seven centimeters. So the cut can't start. It has to go there, like that. So the gap at the front and the back actually is going to be the same. So, four and a half, and that's five. So we can push it a tiny little bit. So are you happy that that's positioned? Well, from, from here, I can't really see from there, but. Right, masking tape. I'm gonna put the perimeters in so I know what we can't drill outside. Right, we're getting to the point where we're gonna cut. So we have decided we're gonna cut through this little beam at the back, so we don't want the sink too far back for, um, well, it's gonna look stupid, basically. So this here. Aesthetics, this here is where the sink will come up to. This is going to be the cut line, and then it's slightly larger than the hole needs to be, so we've got a little bit of wiggle movement. And then we've got some bolts in this pack of stuff that came with the sink, which will actually fix it underneath. So the first thing we need to do now is cut a hole here, and then get the jigsaw in and follow this line and cut it all the way around. And then, if that goes wrong, we need a new sink. A new worktop. <laughs>
we have a hole. <laughs> right. Just gonna get rid of the crap. Oh, careful of that. Now the jigsaw, as usual, the blades are shit. So it's gone in at an angle. Doesn't matter as long as the surface is correct. Right. Moment of truth. If this don't fit, we are screwed. Oh, thank goodness. It's a bit tight. It's better to be tight than loose. We knew it was going to be a little bit tight. Mm, it's better to be that tight. Figure it out. So, it's because it's gone into an angle there, that's why. More jigsawing. Cup of tea? Not yet. Right, this is where we're at. The sink is in, but we're having problems with the piping. Well, so we're not having problems, we just don't have the right fittings. A bit too long or something. Yeah, I, mean, I can put a crocodile clip on that. Uh, a, yeah, a, uh, not crocodile clip. A clamp. But I need a pipe to extend it to get up to there. So it might be a Wix job. Hmm. Maybe. And then somehow I've got to get to wire that at the back here, which is near on impossible. Might have to nug in, nug in some out. Right, Lee's just tidying up while we just finish fitting the sink. Just checking on this. That's the pulse um, program at 10, at uh, 90%, 80% now. Just about to finish. Hopefully that's fully repaired the battery. And if it doesn't, then there's either a drain or the battery's knackered. But we'll do that when we um, when we come across it. Covered everything because I didn't want anything getting scratched. And um, the sink is in. Nick's just still like sealed it all. Hmm. Oh, it's still oozing. I know it's going to do, and it won't. It's not down further. The silicon sealant's oozing out here, um, and I'm going to put these clamps on. I'm going to, these are the sink fixing brackets. Yeah. My fingers have got silicon sealant on, so they're right greasy. Here, yeah. let me get you a. Here, yeah, use this. Wait a minute. Get a cloth. So uh, yeah, just yeah, wipe that, and then you just use that for that. Right, clamps on, silicon sealant oozing out. I'm gonna put a little bit more on this edge here and then wipe it all off, because this one's sealed. Just wanna make sure that there's a good seal. You can see it there, it's glistening. Is it, can you see it there? I don't know what you wanna do. Is it clamped tight enough there? Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna put a, a bead on here, just to seal it. So this is the number one question that we've been asked uh, on this van build. How are you going to extend the bed when there's a sink there? We'll see. So, um, fingers crossed, it'll just lift slightly over and uh, come over. It does mean we'll have to do the washing up every night. Um, nothing can be left in the sink. And I'll have to drag Nick out of bed in the morning when I want to wash up for after breakfast. Right, we're just putting things back together again. We've got the fascia front on, sinks in. It's sealed around there. It's got a little bit of a bow where the worktop's still bowing, but um, it's metal so it's adapted to the shape and hopefully that shouldn't move again. If it does, then, well, I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, the, um, the back thing is in, the drain thing is in. We just need to get a U-bend and then run it into that pipe and then put a um, Jubilee clip on it and then that'll be sealed. And then that runs downstairs through that pipe there into the waste box along with the shower. So, that cupboard door can go back on, the plinth can go on, the fridge can be put back in, and then you can tidy up because we're done. Right, Nick ordered these for dimmer switches. 1980s Doctor Who. <laughs> it does look like that. It's like Star Trek, the original series. It's that old fashioned looking. But these are the. Um, well, they're like the cheapest one we could find, or because they were very expensive, weren't they? They were like eight quid from Germany then. But oh, these. <laughs> you can get them on Amazon for like a fraction of the cost. It's well, didn't we? Because they're eight quid. Never going to see them. Once you mean you can get them on some more expensive? No, no, no. It's a different type. But once they're set, you never have to see them yeah. again. So it's a dimmer switch anyway. For these yeah. lights down below, which were a little bit too bright for us. Um, Far too bright. Yeah. So, so we're, we're going to put this on and, and uh, dim it and see what happens. Yeah. Right. It works. That'll be so good for on an evening. It's also got an off position on it as well. Right. Which you didn't anticipate. So I can actually take the wired switch out and just wire this directly in. Problem is, the wire from the ceiling is very short. So I might have to... Um, I mean, we can mount that here. Yeah, that'd be better. And then you can there. just turn it up and down yeah. and like, adjust it. It's a shame you can't mount it up here, but... Well, we're going to put another one in, in top. Yeah. That's like, that's like a hard on and off, and that's like super bright. Perfect. But once we've got that in the store, we'll get the same 
fit in now for there and put the dimmer in there and just have it diffused onto the wall. Onto the wall. Yep. Right. We need to get this oven back in because Emma and Vicky's on the way. The wires are coming. Yeah. Right. We're done. We have a sink. So the tap will actually go there here. You've got to be careful because the cupboard, the cupboard um, carcass runs there so it has to go to this side of the carcass so the tap's going to be around here and then it's going to be at a right angle going into the sink so you'll be able to swing it this way and use it as like a little shower outside and then into the sink there so it's all done the only thing that's not done is we just need to get that pipe to connect it and they just called regarding the extractor fan apparently they can't get hold of that one anymore but they've got another one which is the same size 36 by 36 so um just gonna have a look at it on a, on a video and then possibly go over to um, UK Leisure Parts tomorrow and get it swapped. A couple of hours later, the girls are here, the wives. Vicky's currently looking up Disney recipes in one of his Disney recipe book. She's looking for nom noms. <laughs> See if she can make them herself at home. And uh, Emma is just sorting out a little trip that we've got next year with the girls and um, with the wives. I call them wives because obviously wives. Monkey and Masher are the girls, are our girls, so these are the wives. Um, so um, we'll tell you about this trip next, next year. year, but it's a little something that would, uh, will be on our vlogs and next um, year. The, girl, uh, the wives' vlogs, um, so you can check them out on Disney Wives. And um, we're gonna go for some food now, because I'm starving. Yeah, I'm starving, I've not eaten all day. There we I'm go. creamy, creamy um, Cajun pasta mm -hmm. with garlic bread. Turn that Me and Nick's having a pasta evening mm. whilst Delicious. we're discussing our trip. Comfort food. Yeah. And um, well, look at that, Vicky. <laughs> Mixed grill. Chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. Well, it's enjoy. not enough there. <laughs> <laughs> was the next day it was raining and we thought it was um, in for the day as you saw the rain um, but it stopped now um, so we have some van stuff to do today first of all we're just gonna nip out for a uh, drink with some friends coffee um, it's Alfie who we saw in Florida and back over here at the lodge again where Nick um, dressed in the same shirt as Alfie we're gonna go meet him and his parents for a drink and then we're going to come back and hopefully we have an issue, we have an issue another problem get into the van yeah so just to give you a brief understanding the fridge is so far back the tap won't fit so we have a tapless sink so we need a solution so that's what we're going to do when we get back hopefully we can't move the sink now fingers crossed because it's good to hold fit the tap somehow i've had the heating on we're back we've had the heating on it's freezing eh? It's on. Well, it's not been on very long, has it? 10 minutes. Right, door, door closed today because it's cold and it's raining. And, and we have um, a dilemma. Get some more lights on, that's it. That's all we've got, unless you want that big strip on. Right, so the problem we've got... It's on. Let me just make sure it's blowing warm. Yes, it is. Right, first right. of all, well, I'll do that afterwards, after you've explained the dilemma. So, the tap has to go there. However, the fridge finishes there. Mm -hmm. So the tap's gonna hit the fridge. So if the fridge will have to come out, I think. Oh, we're gonna have to move the fridge out. <sighs> I'm not sure. Because I've been playing with measurements. That is the diameter of the tap. The tap has to go there because the bed comes up to there. Mm -hmm. So the tap literally has to go there. And it can't go any further back than that because of yeah. that there. So the depth, the depth. I mean, we need a smaller tap. It's quite big, isn't it? No, this this is the only bit that's going in. Yeah, no, but I mean, it's quite big for a van. So from the wall to the end of where the hole's going to be, the inside of this hole, it's six and a half centimeters. Now, when I came in this morning, I screw, bang my head, I screwed a block of wood in here. Hold on. I screwed. Bloody hell, that's heavy. 
I screwed a block of wood there, which is exactly six, and a and the fridge thing. still worked, and the fridge still went in. Uh, that's actually seven centimeters. So if we can get it to come through here, hopefully the tap will go in and the fridge will fit. And if it doesn't, well then the fridge will stand forwards. And we've got a hole. And we'll have a hole. So I'm pretty sure I've measured it correctly. So now we need to case and drill the hole in the worktop. Is that what you're gonna do? Go on then. Oops. Right, that wood can come out. The bracket we put on yesterday is gonna to have to come off. So, we can't fasten the beam on because the tap actually locks in halfway across the support beam at the back. So I need to create another bit by drilling a section out. It'll make sense when I show you. So I've got to cut this first. Actually, should have done it at the end where I needed it. There we go, you can see what I've done there. So I've put in like a, a half cut block to wrap around the tap pipe before we actually put the screws into this metal brass thing here, which will then squeeze it to the worktop. And um, that piece of wood is different to that. So we just need to put some spaces behind it just to pack it down a little bit. Right, time for the weight. So, Nick will just update you on everything that was just been happening. So we've got the tap in, we had to put a spacer block in to make it so we can grip it. We did it at first and the thread jumped, it took us half an hour to get it out. So we've put it back in, we've tightened it, we've attached the taps. So when we go into the extractor back tomorrow, I need to get a connector fitting for this. Which is what we're doing tomorrow, I don't think we've explained. This um, has a problem, it's got a fault. Squealing. Um, we may have said that in a previous vlog and they finally got a replacement in, so we've got to take it to Barnsley tomorrow. Oh, the problem we've got. And um, replace it while it's up in the, in the well, roof. It looks exactly the same, but if the connector screw is on the outside and they're not in the exact position, the, en the entire outer frame has to come off and be unscrewed from all that wooden batten. I'm Fingers it. crossed for no raining tomorrow because we're doing it in the car park. Right, so you're now putting the... Um, put the weight on now. The weight to keep the tap in, you know, because it's one of those pulley out taps. Pulley out? Yeah. Right, so the pipe fitting that I bought this morning, the U-Bend, didn't fit. Uh, apparently there are European connections on here um, and in this thing, so I've had to use the one that came with it. So we're going to fasten that on and then Crocodile clip it, uh, not crocodile clip it, um, what's the word? Uh, Jubilee clip it into the drain pipe. So I'm just going to fasten it on there first. There we go. And then I'm going to send Liam for some water to test this in a minute. Now then, these are always a bugger. How much water do you need? Um, I don't know. I'll go get some. A bowl full of water. Let's test it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's going down that pipe, that's for sure. Good. And where's that going to? The, the, to the, the waste tank outside. Yeah. No leaks. Well, that's easy. Got sink. Hmm. However, that is not super tight. Need a small jubilee clip. So what I need to do is, uh, well, yeah, really. And what it's about? Now it'll be fine. What about this tap? Is it all done? Yes, we just need when we go to tomorrow. We need the connector pipe that connects that to a twelve mil John Guest, if they have such a thing, and then we can have running water on the tap then. Right, before we finish for today, I know we've not got much done today, but we have got the tap in. Um, oh, but, day for a tap. Well, it, we had a late start today, didn't we? So, um, we've got to see if this uh, oh, fridge now. goes back. If it doesn't, well, it sticks out. Basically. I said if it doesn't fit, it sticks out. That's the verdict. Right, here we go. 
Ooh. Eh? Can't go back anymore? I don't think so. Mm. Wait a minute. It might just be... It will, it's just this bloody board. I know what it is. What? It's not the... Um, not the tap. It's, um, it's that drain pipe that's been moved. Moment. that and the weight as well it's hard to tell what's causing it to, to get stuck um this could be a problem right let's let's try it again if we ever need to move that when we've got like the floor down how the hell are we gonna do it it'll rip the floor up <laughs> It must be that weight. No, it's not because the fridge moves back. I mean, it could be the weight. We'll see if the weight, see if the tap moves, comes up and down, up and down. Yep. So the weight's free moving. We'll put it back up. Hmm. So it's not that. Well, that's good news. I think. But it's something. Wait a minute. That. Managed to push it back. Wait a minute. Right, that should move freely. Perfect. Right. Wash. I'll tidy up. Reet, it's a while later. We went for a walk to get steps up to 10,000. It's getting really cold now on a night. Very cold. I'm actually, hang on a minute, let me look at my watch. 9,789. Need to walk around Lodge a bit. Beautiful. Just burp on camera. Um, Mick it's is real. Um, making some food. We're having spaghetti bolognese with mash. And why is that? Because, because I, couldn't we be bothered, I couldn't be bothered making the meatballs. Well, and we, because we went out last night with Vicky and Emma, so we're having to... No. Oh, well, is, no, actually, no, I thought you were putting two together. I just couldn't be bothered handling the meat, so I'm just making a... I've made it a, meat, I've made it a bolognese. God, you know what I'd love with this? Lots of wine. Oh. Have a gin. <laughs> no, I'm off alcohol. Although I am doing all right off my coffee as well. I don't mind being so strict with myself. Just sometimes I like to do these things. But um, when I went over to have a drink of tea today with our friends, um, the Your principles went out window. Well, they run out of tea bags. You should have done without them. Or you should have drunk water. So I had a cup of coffee. We're nice. Everything in moderation. Anyway, that's what I say when I want something. So we're, we're going to have this. Then uh, I've got a few hours of work to catch up on tonight. I'm disappointed with what we've done in the van today. Well, we've got a tap we've on We've put now. a tap. That's it. Ta da There looks a hell of a lot of food there. So who's had mince with mashed potatoes before? We have. It's a new trend. We're uh, setting it. At least it's proper mashed potatoes tonight, so there'll be no, no farting. wind. Welcome to the next day. It's 8.38 a.m. We've been up, showered, dressed, had breakfast, and we're just about to head off to the van supplier to get the roof extractor um, swapped over. Fingers crossed it's going to be an easy oh job. God. I'm just, if this thing has to have the cassette in the roof that we've glued in and screwed in to be cut out, this is going to be a day job, sign a car pack. If the screw holes on the new unit that slots in are exactly lined up, oh my God, you'll leave me screaming from here. Right, let's go. Right, we've got the petrol, we're on his way. We've about, how long we got to go? Uh, 47 minutes. 47 minutes. I am praying that this thing is just going to be a simple case of undoing two screws at either side of the current one and slotting the new one in. If not, it's oh, it's the whole thing again where we have to cut out the the plate, part of the cladding might have to come out on the roof. It's just going to be a nightmare. So fingers crossed, because it's an exact same fan with the different buttons on the control panel, I'm hoping it's just going to be the same plastic but just upgraded electronics. So fingers crossed, so we'll find out in about 47 minutes. got 
out to um, the shop now to um, see if fingers crossed, fingers crossed that this, this is fits. identical to one in the roof. If not, we're screwed. We're here all day. Right. So first things first. I need to get the ladders out. Does it look the same? Yep. Looks oh. identical to me. Oh, thank God. Right, so the problem we've been having with this is got a uh, like squeal. a mechanical squeal sound every time you put it on, and then Electrical. sometimes it doesn't actually come on, does it? No. Like the fan. So, um, right. Nice Ninja. tap. Nice tap and nice sink. Right, let's get cracking. The old one's out. Right, moment of truth. Moment of truth, here we go. Let me get these wires in. Please fit, please fit. Oh yes, yes, it lines up. It lines up. Thank God. That means we don't have to do anything. It's one of those moments again. I know this is the point of a, a camper van that it's gonna, your home is gonna move around and you're gonna see different things. But because at the moment we've not really gone out with it and we're so used to it being on the lodge driveway that at the moment it's still weird when we take the van somewhere and, and there's a different outlook. So that's the outlook of the uh, window at the moment. And um, that's the outlook of the back. It's just still weird that our home, little home, is all here, but we're in a different place. But that's what you get used to when you're doing van life. And I can't wait to get going. Moment of truth. Ooh. Okay. Turn the fan down. Same fault. Oh, you're joking me. Oh my god. So, what's causing that? No idea, it's but it's exact, exact tant. Is it? No, no, it's just like it. We need to come and get some to come and listen to it. Right, where do I start? So we put the new extractor fan into the ceiling, turned it on and it did exactly the same. So we try and we kind of took it into their workshop and put it on a bench and it didn't do it, or at least we didn't think it did it. And then we brought their battery pack out to the van and plugged it back in on the new fan and it did it again. Then we swapped it to the, the old fan, noise. the squealing noise, and then it did it again. So we were like, right, so is it unique to the van's environment? So we stood in the middle of the car park with the fan turned on and walked across the car park and it continued to do it, which ruled out the van. Took it back into the workshop, put it back on the bench and it did it again in the workshop. Um, so that's the old and the new fan. So it looks like it's a design flaw. Um, now the problem we've got is the cutout on our roof is 36 by 36 and the cladding and the lights are already in place. And if we were to make changes, we would have to recut the roof, which I'm really not keen on doing, especially in this weather. Um, and if we hit like a bulkhead or something like that, we can't do it. I and mean, the solar panels are also in the way on the front half, so we couldn't even move it down. So we were going to do that. We were going to buy a Max Air and then bring it back once we've fitted the, bring the one we've got now, bring it back for a refund. But um, they said that they've got another fan coming in in December called a Fru, Fru Camp? Something like that. A Fru Camp, a, a, a Dutch brand. Um, and that's a 36 by 36 cutout, which means we wouldn't have to cut the roof, but it does mean that we're going to have to scrape all the ceiling off and the cassette um, from the extractor fan on the ceiling and put new holes in and screw the new one in place because the holes positions will be in a different size. So that is the plan at the moment but um they're not getting it until december, they're not getting it until december. so um it's going to be a winter's job for us just called at the mothers and she's made a homemade cottage pie it's cottage or shepherd's it's uh cottage cottage get that cottage. down yeah
bright, it's a while later. Um, I had a few hours at my mum's and uh, just um, had a catch up, had that lovely cottage pie which was very nice. That's a dinner done now for dinner. That's a dinner done. Wow. Well said that. We, we have got a, we have got a tray, vegetable tray bake when we get back. But yeah, we've still got a, um, a HelloFresh to have. Um, so, it's been a bit of a wasted day to be honest today. Complete waste. At least we found out now that it's nothing to do with our van, that squealing sound on, in the, um, you know, the fan thing. Um, it is a faulty a fault on the actual thing itself, so we Design might not be able floor. to get that. We we've still we might even just change it for a um, Max Air, a Max Air, because we found like a three fifty by three fifty. Is that right? Yeah. Thirty five by thirty five. The holes thirty six by thirty six. So we might be able to get one to fit, but that's something we have to think about. Um, and then. We we're still waiting on the shower door, which was saying incorrectly the wrong one came. Wrong it was size. supposed to be the wrong size. So we've got a small shower door back at the lodge. It was supposed to be delivered to the lodge tomorrow, the replacement, and the wrong one being collected. We've just checked, it is out for delivery from Hong Kong. It's currently in Germany. Out for delivery tomorrow, but they forgot to change the delivery address to the lodge, and it's going to my mum's address. They're also trying to collect from your mum's address. Yeah, so that's all going wrong as well. So we we're gonna try, hopefully, either fit it tomorrow if it turned up in time or on Friday so that's not going to happen now so it's going to be delivered to my mum tomorrow and then we're due back over there at the weekend anyway and see the girls so we'll pick it up then so that's delayed that again so tomorrow's job will be fingers crossed unless nothing else goes wrong oh I'm sure it will installing the hob so that that will be everything cut out on the worktop so we've now got the sink and the tap in and then the hob is the final thing on the worktop. Um, and there you go. Then what we're going to do, we haven't got a shower door for the next four days, well, so if that works tomorrow, what we're going to do for the rest of the week? Well, we've got to start planning the bulkhead, not the bulkhead, that, um, you know, bit of wood that's going to separate the garage from the rest of the van. Yeah, the bulkhead. Oh, is it called the bulkhead? Yeah. Um, and then um, the table and chairs, we've got to start really looking at that and um, just sorting that out, really, haven't we? Yeah. Right, we are back and we picked up our Hello Fresh box um, when we got back as well. It was waiting for us. So, we need to make a decision. Do we want a sausage, apple and root vegetable tray bake? That sounds good and looks good, but I've already seen I had a quick look. Caramelised onion pork steak. I had a quick look at that. I want that. Ooh. Yes. Glazed koftas and spiced chips with harissa mayo and tomato cucumber okay, that's, salad. that's winning. All these are under um, 650 calories, by the way. Corma and mango chutney glazed chicken does sound good as well. That's yep. a follow up. A voucher that came with it. And, and veggie peanut noodle. Oh, yeah. Ugh. It's one of those two. Which do you want? Um, both? I don't know, but that's only 20 minutes. That's 35 to 40 minutes. I guess we'll have it noodles. But, uh, but I do fancy that though. <laughs> yeah, but I'm hungry. <laughs> I know, but I'll I do fancy now. that. So that's one of the best things about HelloFresh. It's all so easy to follow. It's all portioned out for you and... You don't have to think what to make. Those that don't like cooking, like me, or having to think about cooking, it's all on the back. Six easy steps for that particular one. Perfect, here you go. No, let's do this one. No, you cook it. Well, are you sure? 20 minutes, this one. We'll go with this one. And in this week's box, we've actually got a free gift as well, which what is, is some um, pip pip nuts. Ooh, I love nuts. Is it nuts? Ooh, Ooh what, the what heck? is that? Crunchy peanut butter, dark chocolate peanut. What is it? Made with real peanut butter, and this inside it. Oh, is this the peanut butter to try? Is it? Yes. Let's open that. I want to try it. Right, let's try it. And the other best thing, as we said, it's all portioned out for you, all bagged up, straight into the fridge. And then uh, just it's grab it. It's as if they made it for you. Yes. Number 23, that's what we're having tonight. Right, here's all the ingredients, and we might enhance it with um, the free peanut butter as well. And um, should end up looking like this. and just like that about 20 minutes later god the portion sizes on this is huge good because i'm hungry 
Even though we had that shepherd's pie, we were like, we're never going to eat again after that oh, shepherd's pie. We've had, like, we've had a lot to eat today, haven't we? <laughs> but this is a uh, calorie controlled meal. It looks very good. There may be seconds here. And then some freshly ground peanuts. Well, you're supposed to grind them. We, but we like whole we peanuts. We like them like that. We actually put a little bit more peanut butter in as well. Right. I'll let try. you try. Me try. Right. Okay. It's very peanutty. It's almost like a pad thai, isn't it, really? Yeah. Let's try the. Uh... Ignore the mess of the mm. kitchen. Mm, very peanutty. Really nice, actually. Now, you know how much we love HelloFresh. If you guys want to try it for yourself, Nick's got some information for you. So, scanning the QR code on the screen now or clicking on the link in the description below will get you 60% off your first box, 25% off the next two months, and free gifts. Verdict? Um, I was alright. I actually enjoyed that. We just watched our first Christmas film of the year, year um, on Amazon Prime. Something from Tiffany's. It's an Amazon original. I won't be watching it next year. Well, I quite liked it. It had... Uh... Um, Kendrick Samson in it, who was very nice to watch. Is that him? Yeah. I like the uh, red eye, and not the red eye, the blue eye and the green eye. And uh, Lee googled him and he's got a very fit body. And um, I don't know what she's called. She looks like her from, um, what's that program? Um Umbrella, Umbrella Academy. The Umbrella Academy. She looks like her from Umbrella Academy. So yeah. anyway, yes, we just watched a Christmas film. It wasn't very Christmas to be fair. We need it, to plan a watch party for um, Sunday. It was in. Um, it was set in New York, and that's probably At the Christmas. first film we've watched since we've been to New York that was set in New York. So we're like, oh, we went there. We and it there. snowed. We, we it snowed when we went, and we never even gave it a second thought that it was Christmassy. It was just too freaking cold, wasn't it? I had lots of plans tonight to do lots of editing and stuff, but um, he's back to it, isn't he? It is. So I'm just resting in reality. I'm, I'm sure I've looked up like bulging discs, and one of the causes is sitting in like slumped over mm, all the time i need to start wearing a back brace again to try and this is a man corset keep me um get your man corset straight. out so um nick's gonna finish the vlog so if you're new to our channel guys don't forget to click the subscribe button click the notification bell um if you comment we will read all comments we can't promise we will answer them all we'll answer as many as we can and um on we will be back vlog, we should be hopefully cutting out the uh worktop for the hob Oh, I'm dreading that because I know it's not like the sink. You've got to drill four holes first and then on the inside, because it pulls down on those, and then on the inside, you've got to drill, you've got to cut out a square for the mechanics to go down. And there's still a slight deviation. Now on the back of the hob, there is a bit of sponge on the end. So the sponge will obviously absorb some of that deviation gap. So we'll have to see what happens tomorrow. If we type it too tight, it'll shatter the glass. And that'll be the next disaster in the van. Bye for now. Bye.